Pedaled and Effects.com with Nick and Juan and New Neighbor. And we looked it up on how to say the name because that's kind of crazy because I would have thought Noi, N-E-U, like uh, one of our favorite bands, Noi, but it's not. It is New Neighbor. So they make some pretty high-end stuff. This is a digital uh, pedal. It's called the Seraphim um, Reverb S with some shimmer, shim knob up on it. Uh, they aren't hand built. They they like to say on their website that they use these high end machines, and that is how you get the pedals made. It's not some dude soldering it by hand. They are um, made in the USA. As yes, well. USA, Santa Ana, California, which is like an hour south of here in the OC. So we are gonna bust out on this, and 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 there's a couple things though that Nick and I learned. So if you hold down the foot switch. You could just kick it into reverb, and if you want to go back into where the shim comes in, you hold it down again, and it kicks it back in, right? Right. So when you're playing, it's kind of like a two effect in one, without having to bend down and like adjust the the shimmer knob. You just hold this down for like you know a half a second. Why don't we do it? Switches. You can see how it's blinking, and then if you hold it down, peep this. Dude, that was way too long. Though. Yeah, it was way too long. But look, it doesn't. It doesn't. Right. It's not. Sh Watch this. Let me try that. Okay. There, boom. Right there. Boom. So you come in and out of the shim mode. Uh, really simple mix, depth, and shimmer. And it's just like a really nice sounding reverb that's kind of like a uh, like a Earthquaker devices organizer going into a, a nice classic reverb. Yeah. Might make it under your Halloween tapes. Mm, it's a little late for that. So here's Nick and some weird jacked up squire that he plays and a seraphim mono shimmer. And the first chord that I'm going to do is a C major 7 because those just always sound good with uh, reverb shim pedals. Hit it. Feel me? Watch this. <laughs> Very like first chord, like My Bloody Valentine basically. Angelic. Minus, right, angelic choir. So uh, here, let's back off a little bit and get a little... Back in the shim. All right, and the mix is just cranked because, like, I want it just wet as fuck. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Nick and I, we there's something we agree on. We agree. We like wet effect only. And like, right. I don't... I, it's that transparent sound. Like, who the hell wants that? Certain dudes do, but... Not me. Seems like John Mayer would be into like having it at he about 50-50. Yeah, the straight up tone. But we're the kind of dudes who are like, no, we're not shy. Give us the full effect and we'll make it work somehow. the tails in there and then now you're in reverb no now we're we're off oh but since we're blinking right here that means we're gonna be on our shimmer setting so when you crank this back on uh, okay so then we'll turn it off like mid riff So there is a little bit of a, a you got to you can't just click it quickly because then it's just going to shut it off, which is what most foot switches do. You have to hold it on a it's little. It's like long. half a second. It's like a. It, how about this? It's not a click. It's a press. All right. You press. Oh, and I then you're good. Now, do you know what I mean? Let's hear. It. Click. Ah. Right. Press. 
There Boom. it is. Shim. So, yeah. Artifact. All okay. right, let's check it out on bass. Bass. Mm-hmm. 